Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I have a somewhat different video for you because a company called Oxito reached out to me and asked if they could send me something for free in exchange for a video. And well, like any sane person uh, responding to free stuff, I said, uh, yeah. So after exchanging some details on Instagram, they wanted to send me some LED bulbs for my headlights in my truck. And just a side note, please do not put LED bulbs in your Tacoma headlights. I'll link some forum posts and discussions below. Uh, basically, LED bulbs and headlights of Tacomas are bad. Don't do it. People much smarter than me did all the testing with all the right equipment, so just trust them. Anyways, after discussing what product I'd actually like to review, I found they had some rock lights. And I can make use of those, so I asked if we could do that, and they said, sure. I told them I also don't want this to be a sponsored video, more of an honest review, and they said, and I quote, Fair enough, we are always open to an honest review. So naturally I did what any smart person working with any company for the first time would do. I went on Amazon and bought their closest looking competitor to challenge them against each other. And let's just say the results are pretty interesting. Right off the bat, both of these rock lights have nine LED chips, are rated to nine watts, so one watt per chip. They're both are IP68 waterproof rated and both claim to have a 50,000 hour lifespan, which comes out to roughly 5.7 years. So we'll test that later. First off, let's talk about rock lights and why they're useful. Obviously for rock crawling, they help you see what your tires are hitting on your night runs, but they're also useful for base camps, uh, just to see where you're walking and what's around camp, what's around your truck, vehicle, trailer, whatever. If you get RGB like I have on my truck, you can get uh, some sweet shots for Instagram, or you can disappoint your dad by having pink lights on your truck. Moving on, there are tons of different uses for rock lights that can be used in other places beyond the bottom of your truck, such as in the engine bay, like some of these people here. You probably would get more use out of that if you were driving a Dodge or a Jeep. <laughs> Got he! But to be honest, my Tacoma hood is very, very rarely up, unless it's for fun. I've used rock lights like these on my previous trailer build for underneath lighting and cabinet lighting because they come in packs, usually four to eight packs, and they're pretty cheap, usually very durable, uh, and weatherproof slash waterproof. So I don't ever have to worry about them getting dinged up or breaking, but enough about that. Let's get into these Oxito versus Amazon special rock lights. First off, in packaging, the Oxido lights came to me in a bland white box with everything just thrown in that I honestly thought was the Amazon Special brand because of how much cheaper the Amazons were. So for reference, the Oxitos are $75 on their website for eight of them, and the Amazon Specials were $15 for four, so $30 for eight. So the Oxitos coming in at about two and a half times more expensive for a very, very similar looking product. The Amazon Special brand LY8 came in a nice little box with each rock light in its own individual bag. Now to be honest, I don't really care about pretty packaging, but I want my product to arrive in good condition and I say that LY8 has a better chance of arriving in better shape. I tested both lights using a handy dandy watt meter that uh, you can find these things on Amazon. Um, they're about $15. They'll tell you wattage, voltage, amps, the whole shebang. We're off to a not so great start with the Oxido LEDs coming in at 3.7 watts, well short of their proclaimed 9 watts. Then the Amazon Special came in at 3 watts, so less than the Oxido, but not by much, yet way less than their proclaimed 9 watts. This isn't a great start for the Oxido because this is easy to test and they already got it wrong. Uh, it's, you know, lying to consumers. Next thing I noticed was the rock lights are very similar, but their waterproofing on the rear differs that the Oxido is kind of dipped in while the LY8 fills up the cavity. I don't think this actually matters, but I just noticed it and thought I'd share. Speaking of waterproofing, since they're both rated to IP68, I figured I would test that waterproofing uh, as well as I could, which is basically in a bowl of water. IP68 means it should be fine under about six feet of water for roughly 30 minutes, uh, which if you mount these on your truck and they are six feet underwater, you probably have some more significant problems uh, that you need to worry about, I'm just saying. Both these lights pass with flying colors in my water test, both function throughout the whole test, are completely fine with no water ingress, so I pass for both of them, which, you know, it's nice to see. Now since they're both falling way short of their claimed 9 watts at 3.7 and 3 watts, I figure there's going to be a slight brightness difference, but not significant enough to make a noticeable difference. 
So I built this rig up, it has them in my darkest room in my house against each other, and here are the results. You tell me. I think the Oxido is slightly brighter, but definitely not two and a half times as bright. I think the Oxido with its significant price markup is the loser here. So overall, what do I recommend? Data is there, value is there. The LY8's on Amazon. These are the these are the better deal. The Oxidos, they're similar. They're I I would say identical. Design-wise, it's identical, but it's you know two and a half times the price. It's not worth it. It's not a good value. So I'm sorry, Oxido. I hope you don't uh, blacklist me, and we can review some other of your products. I'm always down for a truthful review. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I like thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.